Hey, what's up, y'all? What's poppin'? It's D. Watch back to this video by Patrick CC. This is how Blueface ruined his career on purpose. Now he needs Krishan. Uh-oh. Um, this whole situation with them is a hot, toxic mess. I don't know why they still continue to deal with each other. I'm guessing it's because it's making both of them money. I don't know. But uh, I'm tired of their shenanigans at this point. I just saw a clip on IG of her saying that Blueface punched her in her face and, like, gave her a black eye. But then she came back and said, oh, no, I was just drunk. It's like, what? What's going on? And I saw them at a party together like a few months ago. And I was just like, go away. <laughs> Why are y'all here? Anyway, let's see what happened in this video. Let's watch. Blueface's music career is at an all-time low. You only ever hear about him these days when he gets into a physical altercation in public with his girlfriend, Krishan Rock. However, She's people so knew Blueface's career was destined for failure back in 2019 when he said this in his first major interview. Okay. Oh, you saw the cash money through Cash Money? Uh, Cash Money West. Oh, so that is through Birdman and, and all I know is Cash Money West and Wack 100. Uh, okay. you, could, I, I, you gotta ask Wack about the other other people involved. You haven't seen your own big board? Nah, I seen it, but yeah. Wack showed me. I ain't even see the. You know. It's very clear oh, from this interview crazy. that Blueface does not know the details of his record deal. He didn't realize that he was signed to four record labels at once. Mm. He knows he's signed to Cash Money West, which is a division or imprint of Cash Money Records, founded in 2018 by Birdman and Wack 100. But Cash Money Records is distributed by Republic Records, which is owned by Universal Music Group. Oh, wow. Now there are plenty of successful artists who are signed to multiple labels. However, there's no debate that when your money is being split up four times before you get it, it's going to be much harder to make yeah, profit. The obvious money. piece of advice is that you should never sign a contract that you didn't read or you don't understand, but it's much more complicated than that. Signing a bad deal might actually be a good strategy for some artists. Blueface signed his deal in 2018 thanks to the success of his breakout single, Respect My Crippin. The music video dropped on World Star Hip Hop and Blueface became a, a viral problem. meme with his offbeat <laughs> rapping, high-pitched voice, and silly lyrics. People say I rap off beat. I say I just rap to a different rhythm of the beat, and it, it just makes it sound, you know, that much different. So I Boy, think that's what it is. They just don't know it yet. I just let them know. At first, it seemed like everyone was making fun of him, but a lot of people, including myself, listened to his music as a guilty pleasure. The controversial virality had listeners diving into his back catalog. Record labels were all eager to sign Blueface, and in December of 2018, he ended up with Cash Money West. So why was signing this bad deal potentially a good thing for Blueface? Well, his label knew that his older song, Tatiana, had way more potential than Respect My Crippin'. The label would connect him to popular West Coast rapper YG for a remix, as well as a lyrical Lemonade video. Then they pumped it out to radio stations all over the country which led to his first fire. billboard hot 100 <laughs> entry to keep momentum they got cardi b on another remix with another lyrical lemonade video which was the first time cole bennett made two videos to the same song without the label blueface would most likely not have gotten Moses. those big features those music videos or all the radio play which kept tatiana on the billboard hot 100 for 20 weeks mm. then he secured a spot as a double xl freshman in 2019 this high profile publication co-signs six to ten artists as being next up in the music industry they they typically only pick artists who are signed to major labels. By mid-2019, Blueface was a household that name. That was their best world. year. Now the that Lord. he had the fame, all he needed to do was grind to gain more leverage, escape his record deal, and make millions. However, we now know that Blueface did not have an escape plan because this mm. was his peak. After 2019, he made a key choice that would start his slow demise. His debut studio album would only sell 12,000 units in its first Ooh, week. Find the Beat, so released in March of 2020, and that despite features from though. Lil Baby, Gunna, Polo G, and Ellie Choppa, and Da Baby, it still flopped. Yeah. Instead of grinding harder to make music to resonate with fans, he changed his focus to something else, OnlyFans. While on set filming a music video for a song off the album, some dancers Blueface had hired began fighting in his house, a reality show where he invites girls into his home and films their every move. For a monthly subscription of $50, more than triple the standard Netflix fee, viewers could watch these women repeat $50 all night long, while Blueface pockets all the cash and the girls get paid in the form of clout. As you could guess, the show was a total disaster from the start. The very first episode started like this. Oh, here shit. Damn, y'all late. They already fighting. 
Insider was able to speak with five women involved in the show, in which they claimed exposure and connections within the industries they were interested in didn't always materialize. Instead, they said they encountered a turbulent environment in which they were exposed to near constant conflict without pay or medical or psychological professionals. One contestant broke her leg within the first three days of filming, while another girl even said she was assaulted eight times, but also admitted she doesn't regret it since she gained 54,000 followers on Instagram. It's estimated that Blueface was making between $100,000 to $200,000 per month from the 4,000 subscribers to his show. Considering he wasn't paying women, and the quality of the production was around the same as a typical YouTube vlog, it's safe to assume his profit margins were high, and he was likely making way more money on this than he ever did for music. Since he was focused on the show, the music he was releasing was lackluster. Aside from his feature on DDG's track, Moonwalking in Calabasas, Blueface's off, music was falling on deaf ears. However, in 2020, he did meet his now girlfriend, Krishan Rock, who was among the 10 women casted for Blue Girls Club, and is now the reason why Blueface is constantly in the news. Krishan Rock is one of 12 siblings. She grew up on the rough streets of Baltimore, Maryland, and survived a very abusive and toxic childhood. She was a gifted track and field athlete throughout high school and was on pace to go to a D1 college. Also during this time, she was building a decent-sized Instagram following. She went to a two-year university in California and was taking track and field seriously, but knew she longed to be famous, to relish in the glamorous Hollywood life. Ultimately, she dropped out of school when she was scouted for a show called mm. Ultimate Tag. I'm the youngest in the competition. I've been through more than most. It was a struggle growing up, and I was even homeless. And I feel like mm. saved me. It was like an outlet for me to put all my stress, all my pain on the track. I want to win Ultimate Tag and put myself through college. And I'm gonna win tonight. She won the game show, which earned her $10,000, and she was able to live off that for a little before submitting her audition tape to be on Blueface's reality show. Krishan quickly became the star of Blue Girls Club, basically because she was willing to fight anyone. She even lost her front tooth during a fight in the house. She started doing interviews and getting her IG followers up. At first, Blueface and Krishan weren't a couple. They just had a working relationship. He even signed her to help her music career. Talk to us about what you saw in rock that made you want to get behind her, start a movement, support her as an artist, etc. Uh, I just saw all the star qualities in her that uh, I once had. I wasn't always like musically the best but i was a star so the first is star. so does that mean rock's money is being split up six ways now never mind after she released a few songs blueface took her onto aiden ross's stream for some extra promotion but it did not go well blueface and krishan come on the aiden stream and immediately start making fun of him at first it's just harmless jokes and aiden goes along with it but then they push him to the background grab his speaker and start blasting krishan's newest song blueface demands aiden to dance <laughs> Oh, no. Aiden went along with the jokes because he knew it would be funny. However, he had about 250,000 live viewers, and Krishan was getting all this free promotion while being extremely rude. Aiden's viewers did not like seeing him getting bullied on his own stream. Who you be talking to? Okay, okay, all right, all right. You know, you be like low-key disrespectful while trying. Wait, what? I know it sounds silly, but Krishan and Blueface being rude to Aiden genuinely impacted their reputation to the youth. Aiden has one of the most loyal followings on the internet. Whoever is cool with Aiden, his followers also support heavily. They had the opportunity to gain potentially hundreds of thousands of new supporters, but instead they tried to act all cool, which led to all of his followers despising both of them. Despite this, fans thought Blueface was making a comeback with his music. His verse on Better Days is probably the best verse he has ever made. Blueface has the potential to make such good music, and this right here is an example. Along with another song with DDG called BGC. It seemed like Blueface had a creative spark. Instead of continuing the music grind, he decided to do a TikToker boxing event. Many oh my people questioned why a famous it. rapper and self-admitted gang member would fight a TikToker. For money? Or maybe he genuinely wanted to challenge himself? He won the fight. He was a Allegedly only paid $25,000, oh, no but I can't imagine him doing this event for that small of a paycheck. Then again, when your music money is getting split five ways and it's underperforming, 25k might be a good payday. He even started his own restaurant, Blues Fish and Soul, which had mostly positive reviews. It became an affordable soul My food spot amen. in LA and stayed open for over a year. Today, Google says it is temporarily closed, so I don't really know how successful that was, but at this point it seems clear that Blueface is not just a rapper. He isn't working on albums or trying to make a musical legacy. He is casually putting out singles
struggles to maintain his celebrity lifestyle, Blue Girls Club returns. And this time, it gets crazier. Oh, more man. fights and more chaos. A clip bone. of the girls sleeping on bunk beds and living in dirty conditions went viral. He was also saying that the girls had to get tattoos of him or else they had to go home. People what? were accusing him of starting a cult. Now we know they weren't being held against their will. They wanted to be there for the fame and notoriety. An Instagram live went viral where Blue's manager, Wack 100, tried to kick Krishan out of the house for her bad hygiene and bad attitude. In this fiasco, we learned that Blueface allegedly dropped Krishan and was not helping her music career. People were confused because they thought Blue and Krishan were on good terms. They seemed to be very close. A few weeks later, the mother of Blue's firstborn son announced that she was pregnant again, so he was expecting another child. This derailed Krishan, and it was about to get ugly. Krishan and Blueface have the tendency to post every facet of their relationship on social media. Any in my life is obligated to submit to me. That is the text message that Blueface sent to Krishan. She posted this long back and forth feed of text where Blue is trying to break her down. Then when she says she is done and doesn't care anymore. Wait, well, he said Krishan is any bitch. You're not the only female named Krishan. I won't contest stupidity. <laughs> Blue is trying to break her down. Then when she says she is done and doesn't care anymore, he says, I love you and I miss you. People saw the clear manipulation tactics. One month later, Rock got intoxicated, broke into his house, and passed out in the bathtub. She took to Instagram Live and Krishan stated that part of the reason for her behavior is that she loves Blueface for, quote, taking her out the hood. A week after that, she stole his Mercedes-Benz G-Wagon and tried to drive it across the country. But before leaving the house, she left a message on the wall. I love blue. Look closely. See what that's written in? I'll give you a hint. It's not ketchup. She actually got arrested for this situation, but it didn't lead to any major charges. Surely anyone at this point would realize these two should not be together. Instead, they decided to make their relationship official. In celebration, Krishan got a tattoo of Blue's name, Jonathan, right above her area. A couple months later, she got his whole face tattooed on her neck. They have both clearly showed that they have some sort of dependency on each other, but it is disproportionately affecting Krishan. So, how many blue face tattoos do you have? I got five. One on my face, one on my neck that says Jonathan Jamal Porter, one on my neck that say Jonathan, one on my hand that say Jonathan. Now, she is a grown woman who is capable of making her own decisions, but She's blue face is also well. proven to antagonize her. He is constantly putting a camera in her face. He knows how to push her buttons and does it for the entertainment of his Instagram following. Just a fighting. All your life you had to fight, huh? Can you stop being? You love Harpo, but you kill him dead before you let him beat you. Some people think he is trying to document her behavior for his own protection in case things get bad. No. Because things were about to get really bad. A clip goes viral of Krishan beating up Blueface's sister. Oh. Allegedly, Blueface hit his own mother, left her bruised up, and his sister Callie showed up with her husband to defend her mom. When Callie got there looking for a fight, apparently seven of Blue's friends jumped Callie and her husband. But the video clip that went viral cut all of that first part out, and they only showed a little scrap between Krishan and her. She got beat the f up, he got beat the f up for you. If you treat your mom bad, you'll treat anyone bad. Nothing about this situation is normal, but most people thought that if Blueface would be willing to fight his own family or let other people fight his family, then Krishan was not going to get special treatment, and they were right. Shortly after, Krishan and Blueface got into an altercation in public, which involved both of them throwing punches at each other. Krishan swung on Blueface first, and he was defending himself. This is the first time anyone had seen them physically assaulting each other, and it wouldn't be the last time. Just a few weeks later, another fight outside of a nightclub. We have reason to believe Blue started this one, as he pulled her hair in the beginning of the clip. But Krishan is the one who ended up getting arrested. But are you not gonna get into any sort of like physical blues again? No. All right, all right. You're right. You're first, yeah, all right. Right. At this point, it seems like Blueface's music career is officially done. Sometimes we assume that because someone has a successful music career, that's what they want to do for the rest of their lives. The ironic yeah. thing is, people are starting to realize that Krishan is the one maintaining Blueface's relevance. The narrative is starting to shift, People stop looking at Krishan as the crazy girlfriend and start looking at Blueface as the manipulator. They are rooting for her. At the same time, people start looking at Blue's mom, Clarissa, as an instigator as well because she is constantly going on Instagram Live, bringing up drama, and trying to get her own clout from her son's drama. Blueface is a grown man, and it's obvious that she wants to insert herself into his relationship for her own benefit. But I want to get on here and ask Mr. Blueface, where's your family? 
Where are the people you started with? Where's Bravo? Where's Earl? Where, where are the people that were on your team when you started? So how does this end? With a reality TV show, of course. Crazy in Love was just announced, oh, along with Krishan getting another neck tattoo of Blueface. It's really hard to tell how much of this is real, and how much of this is all for shock value entertainment. We all agree this is not healthy or normal, but they have an incentive to keep up this toxic lifestyle because they are making money from it. I want to feel bad for them. I want to think that Blueface is going to focus on music one day again, but I think this is exactly where they all want to be. Yikes, what the fuck? I can't imagine anybody would do all of this and put themselves in this level of toxicity just to get paid. Like, the money can't be worth all this. And you got five tattoos of, of this man? You got a big ass tattoo of his face right here on your neck and on the side of your neck? What are we doing? I, I really feel like she needs some help um, psychologically. It just doesn't seem like, you know, she's she's all the way there at all but neither is he this is ghetto this is ghetto i want to parse a bit y'all let me know what y'all thought let me know what other videos you've been watching i'll see y'all in the next one bye